Hey everybody, it's Dana and I'm super, super excited to be joining in on the Simon Says Stamp, Stamp Timber Party. Let's go ahead and get started. I am using the paper laying ring circles from Simon Says Stamp and I'll go ahead and pull this out of the packaging. So as you can see, there's several sizes of like wonky kind of circles and these work great for really graphic cards. I decided to keep them all together and die cut my paper that way. So off camera, I had die cut my paper and I had made this card that I shared yesterday on my blog. I absolutely loved how this card came out. So I felt I would do a tutorial to show you how I put this together. It's really easy. It gives such a graphic design. I already knew what my color palette was going to be. So I knew that I'm going to have a successful card. Planning out your color palette is what works wonders. All right, so here are some of the pieces left over from that first card. I went ahead and die cut both of those large dies into separate colors of paper. So here I have some shades of blue, some shades of green, a mint color, and then some gold. I'll make sure to link the product below so you guys know what colors that I use. But having this color palette already designed out really made it easy, and now all I need is really some glue. So let's go ahead and get started. I did die cut down some paper to a little bit shorter than four and a quarter by five and a half. That's going to work perfectly for these size um, circles. You can also do this on a five by seven if you choose, but I like to keep it simple and do it on my standard A2 cards. Here I'm just going to lay out all of the colors, all of the single colors, and then I'll go back and do the next layer that I've cut out. Again, making sure to alternate those colors. So I'm never putting the same color on top of the same color. So as you can see, this is really easy to build up. And I really don't think there's a wrong way to kind of line these up. As long as you're kind of covering up the circle hole in the middle, I think your card's going to be successful. So I have one last layer to put on there. And now my color palette and all of my, I like to call these kind of like geodes. That's kind of what they remind me of. My oh, my little geodes are all ready to be placed on cards. Now I can get two cards out of this by placing my geodes or these layering circles on corners of the cards, but you can do it whatever design you want, whatever works for you. You can also overlap them if you choose to do that. I'm just gonna show you the first part of this because I did the same thing for all of them. I'm using a little bit of my glue going around the circle. And then it's like just building up a puzzle piece or like an onion ring, that's it. <laughs> like kind of building up an onion ring. You're just layering them on top of each other, just being sure to kind of cover up the area below so you just don't see any of the white behind it, which the white is just going to be my paper mat. Again, I don't think there's any wrong way to lay these up. I just think laying them down and making sure like corners might not be covered up is just a great way to go. And you can see how quickly, if you die cut a bunch of these out, how quickly you're gonna be able to make, you know, really clean and simple cards really graphic clean and simple cards by just using these paper layering circles. So I'll add in that navy. And if you wanna know what color schemes or how I get my color palette, head on over to my Pinterest. I have a color combinations board there and that's usually where I go to to kinda of get my color palettes. I'll do a video on that a little bit later, hopefully by the end of this month. Now I have my first one done and I'm going to do all of the rest of them just like this. Now let's talk about greetings. I have these sentiment strips and I buy these every time they come out at Simon's. They're already pre-done for me. I don't have to stamp anything. I kind of trim them down and keep them in this little bag. I already have two of them that are perfect for the card I need to use today. So I don't even have to trim these down. These are perfect when you don't have time to stamp out a sentiment. And now all we have to do at this point is just build up our card. 
I have all of the white pieces and you see I showed three. I'm going to show you why I showed you three in a second. Now I can come back in which each one of those layered um, circles, my geodes as I like to call them, and place them onto my card panel. I decided for my designs, I do like to have them tucked into the corners because I think they fill up the space nicely. But again, if you wanted to do three of them on here, one of them on here and just put it towards the middle, totally up to you. I really just don't think you can go wrong with this die. I'm going to put mine in the corners, but I'm gonna kind of have them meet in the middle. I'm gonna just leave a little bit of white space in the middle because this is going to allow me to use up most of the circle. Again, I'm just coming back in with my glue. And since I know that this is a larger area I need to have wet adhesive on, I'm just gonna switch out to a larger glue stick or a larger glue pen so I can make sure at this point, I want all of those layers to lay onto that card panel. So using that Barely Arts glue was a little bit too thin for me. So I'm gonna change it out and grab a larger glue pencil. And as you can see, that's working so much better. Again, I'll lay these on the corner. And just look at those colors together. I just love this color palette. To me, I might struggle with like, what colors go together, especially like if I'm tired, y'all. If I am tired, I just don't even think straight. So having a color board is so easy for me now. I can go there, grab a color combination, head on over to my binder that has all of my swatches of cardstock or really inks too. I'm done, one and done. Right there, go get my stuff. I can start making cards. Again, you can see I'm just going to add this one here to the top and the bottom because I think I want to change this one up just a little bit. So you saw the other ones were from corner to corner, right? This one I'm just going to do top to bottom. Again, changing up that design, but still having that really great graphic element. Once I get these down, I do want to add just a little bit of weight to this, just so they can kind of sit back, hang out, and dry. So I'm just going to grab my acrylic blocks, and these just kind of sat here for about a minute or so until I like cleaned up the rest of my desk, and then I can come back, press that down, make sure they're stuck, because there are a couple of layers to this. Now I can go ahead and grab my large cutting scissors and I'm going to trim off what is hanging over that cardstock. But do not throw these pieces away. If you do this design, hold on to those pieces. I'm going to show you how to get a third card out of this. So as you can see, I have all those extra pieces left, right? I have one card here. I have another card here. Beautiful designs. I have my sentiments. I can turn it now and make it a landscape card or I can have a vertical card. That's what's so great about this die. You can use it either way. But I don't wanna let go of those pretty scraps. Like I'm like, no, I'm gonna make another card. So I'm going to use the pieces that I trimmed off and layer these onto the card panel now. This is a great way if you have, if you colored something and it's just so pretty, you just don't wanna get rid of it use the scraps on another card panel. As you're gonna be able to see, I'm gonna get a nice amount of color onto this panel. Again, I did not pull out a marker, a, a pen, a paintbrush, nothing. This is nothing but die cutting on here. So this is a quick way to make a beautiful statement card with using these paper um, layering circles and not have to worry about coloring anything. Like I said, if you have color combinations, cut a bunch of these in advance. You'll have the circles on hand. You'll be able to build cards with them later. So as you can see, these are just the scraps. This is the scrap pieces that I pulled off of the other cards. Use up that stuff, especially when it's like pretty paper or layer paper like this. Yeah, I do not want to get rid of this. If I somehow can figure out to make this into a card, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So as you can see, I'm placing, you know, some on the corners, some on the top, and then I'm going to fill up just in that right hand corner 
with one of the gold pieces. Now you see here, if a piece falls off, just get your tweezers and put that puppy right back on. Again, that's sparkle paper there, honey. We do not want to lose that paper. So we can go ahead and press that down, kind of clean it up if you have to. And what's so good about this glue, I find that it doesn't um, dull down your paper. If you actually get it on your sparkly glitter paper, you're gonna be fine. I can use that last piece right at the top. Now you're probably thinking, okay, Dana, you didn't plan out your sentiment here. Like, where are you gonna put your sentiment? I got a trick for you. There's a lot of white space on this card, right? And you're probably like, uh, I'm not quite sure I'm digging this. And you still might dig it, not dig it. I kind of think it looks kind of funky. <laughs> I'm like a mid-century -mod mid modern girl, so I like graphic designs like this. If you find that you have extra pieces and it can't fit, don't stress over it. But I have a nice background. Now check this out. Grab yourself a large sentiment. This is going to help eat up some of that middle real estate. So you can see the other ones that had just the smaller strips of a sentiment and obviously not a lot of graphic part. On this one, I really need a sentiment to fill up where I don't have that graphic, where I don't have those layers. A good way to do that is grab a large sentiment. A nice hello, I got this one here. This is from, it's an older set from Simon. It's called, um, you got this, absolutely love this. And then I just try to match up my inks. So I'm going to go ahead with the navy blue because I think the navy looks really great on this. And once you stand by the large sentiment, it really then pulls the card together. If I went with a tiny sentiment, it would have totally got lost on this. So if you're going to use those scraps, just make sure you pick a larger sentiment to fill in some of those gaps. Perfect. All right, we can go ahead and start building up our cards now. I chose to just keep this really white, no extra color here. So I just have um, card bases that are already cut down to A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And in no time, I have three cards done. I mean, it could not be any easier than this. I do wanna say, uh, Simon Says Stamp, Stamp Timber is a fantastic event. They have great products that come out with just Simon, and then they also collaborate with other companies. Don't forget, I believe everything goes live at midnight every night, so set your clocks, because anything that is with a collaboration company, once it's sold out, it's sold out, you guys. It does not come back in stock. So if you see something that you like, make sure to grab it. I know for me, this time of year is like one of my favorite times of year to grab a lot of the products that I know I might not be able to see again and that I know I'm going to be able to create with. As you can see, I'm placing on this last card. I mean, I really like this one. I do love all the other ones that I made, but I really like this. So to be honest, I have gotten four cards because remember, I showed you the one at the beginning. That also came from all of these circles. So four cards, you guys, four clean and simple, but very graphic looking cards. Now all I have left is to put on the sentiment. Again, those sentiment strips are perfect when you just don't have time to stamp or you just don't want to stamp. Grab those sentiment strips and keep them in your stash. As you can see, they work perfectly. And if you get the black ones, you can foil them as well. And I believe you can foil these too. I think the black ink on here, you can also foil. So as I finish up my cards, I just want to thank you guys for all the love you have been showing me on my channel and on my blog. I'm eternally grateful for you. And I just want to keep creating things that make you guys want to come back and watch. So if there's something you want to see me create, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comment box below and I'll get back and answer you. All right, that is going to finish up our cards today. Again, Perfect, perfect, perfect for clean and simple cards. This again is a Simon Says Stamp Paper Layering Circles. Easy peasy and beautiful cards. All right, everybody, I will see you in another video soon. Take care, stay blessed until I see you again.
Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.